Let's look at what we have learned till now. We saw how substances react in equal number of equivalents. We also learned how to find number of equivalents for a given mole of a substance. For example, if we have 3 moles of SO2 and we know its n factor is 4, we say that there are 3 into 4 that is 12 equivalents. In this video, we will learn about equivalent weight. So what is equivalent weight? We know weight of one mole of any substance is called molar mass. Similarly, weight of one equivalent of mass is called equivalent weight. That's all. And as we already know, how to relate mole of a substance with the number of equivalent using n factor, we can find equivalent weight using n factor. Let's see how. One mole of substance weighs one molar mass and it contains n factor into one equivalent of the substance. Now this n equivalent of substance weighs one molar mass. We want to find weight of one equivalent. So that will be molar mass divided by n factor. This is the expression for finding equivalent weight of a substance. If we have x equivalents, its weight would be x into molar mass divided by n factor of the substance. For example, equivalent weight of Ca is its molar mass divided by its n factor that is 40 divided by 2. Hence, its equivalent weight is 20 grams. Now, why do we need equivalent weight? Suppose you have two substances A and B which can react to form a product. How much of each substance would you take so that each of these are completely consumed? From law of equivalence, we know they will react in equal equivalent. Hence, we have to take equal equivalents of both A and B. Let's take one equivalent of each. We know equivalent weight of A and B. So we simply have to take A and B in this proportion for reaction to be complete. For example, if we want reaction between calcium and oxygen, and we know equivalent weight of calcium and oxygen that is 20 and 8 we simply have to take these two as 20 grams and 8 grams respectively or anything in this proportion but what if they are not in 20 is to 8 proportion what will happen if calcium was only 18 grams and oxygen was 8 grams in this case calcium is not sufficient to consume total 8 grams of oxygen and at the end of reaction, some amount of oxygen will be left unreacted. Here we say, calcium is the limiting reagent of the reaction because it restricts the extent of which reaction proceeds. In this example, can you tell me how many equivalents of calcium will be 18 grams and what weight of oxygen will remain unreacted? We will discuss the solution in the, at the end of this video. In laboratory, most reactions occur in solutions. So rarely there will be case when we weigh solid reactants according to their equivalent weight and mix them to get the product. Mostly we use solutions of known concentration for any reaction. We had learned about molarity which was number of moles of substance in a unit liter of solution. Similarly we can define a new term normality which is number of equivalents of a substance in a unit liter of solution. If we know normality of a solution, we can also find number of equivalent in a given volume of solution by multiplying volume of the solution with its normality. Now we will try to understand why this is more helpful than molarity in certain cases. Suppose we want reaction between A and B and we have solution A with normality Na and solution B with normality NB. If we want the reaction to get completed, we should take equal equivalents of both substances. So if we mix VA volume of solution A and VB volume of solution B such that VA into NA is equal to VB into NB, we are equating the number of equivalents of A and B. We can find the normality of a solution if we know the molarity of solution and n factor of the substance by using this expression. Try to prove this expression to convince yourself. 
Now we will discuss the solution of the problem we had asked. We know 20 g of Ca is one equivalent. Hence 18 g will be 18 by 20 equivalents. Now same equivalent of O2 will be consumed. One equivalent of oxygen molecule weighs 8 g. Hence 18 by 20 equivalents will weigh 18 by 20 into 8 g. This is the amount of oxygen consumed in the reaction. So, 8 minus 18 by 20 into 8 grams will be the amount of oxygen left unreacted. 